Hello everyone. In today's video, we will start with Windows Virtual Desktop. We will do a basic uh, setup wherein we will set up Windows Virtual Desktop and a basic app and make it available to users. Before we go ahead and set it up a bit basic uh, information about my environment. So I have this uh, Azure AD tenant setup wherein uh, I do not have a connectivity to my on-premise uh, machines which are running on Hyper-V. So any machine or any Windows virtual machine which I create in Azure cannot join my on-premise domain because I don't have a side-to-side -side connectivity. So I will have my Windows virtual desktop uh, machines joined to my PaaS domain service which is called Azure AD domain services which I have already created. I will paste a link in the description of my previous video where I created this. So this is a PaaS service which provides managed domain services in Azure. So identities from our on-prem first get synced to Azure AD and then from Azure AD they get synced to this PaaS service. This PaaS service has set up uh, two domain controllers for me which are running on IP addresses 10.0.1.4 and 10.0.1.5. So I will join all the machines to this particular domain. And as the identities are synced, so I can use the same identities. So the next step would be to create the Windows Virtual Desktop tenant. And to do that, I will need to get the directory ID for my Azure AD and my subscription id so directory id i can get it from azure ad properties so this is my directory id so i'm gonna put it in a notepad because i would require it later so here is my directory id and i need to get the id for my subscription in which i will have my virtual machines windows virtual desktops so here is my Sub subscription ID now we will go to this uh, website which is https rdweb.wbd.microsoft.com and here under server app we will put our directory ID and click on submit now we have to specify the global admin credentials here accept again we need to go to this website this time instead of server app uh, we will use client app but we will do it after 30 seconds 30 seconds are passed so let's uh, do it for client app so this is my directory id submit Select my global admin account. Accept. Now we will go to our Azure AD. Under enterprise application, we will look for Windows uh, Virtual Desktop. So this is the Windows Virtual Desktop server app and this is the client app. We will go to server app, go to users and group and it will show us the user uh, by which we just authorized uh, these apps. We'll select it edit it under roles we will select it as tenant creator so this uh, id will create the windows virtual desktop tenant we can add another user so i'm going to add my global admin user account which is my on-prem account so it has global admin permission now we will go to powershell because the rest of our steps will be performed there in PowerShell, we will have to install this uh, module first, microsoft.rdinfra.rd PowerShell. I already had this installed, so I did not get any prompt. And now we will have to import this module, which I already have, but just to show you the command, we will run import module in a dash name and the uh, same uh, microsoft.rdinfra.rd PowerShell. So I already had these uh, imported, so I did not get any prompt, but in your case, you will get a prompt now we will log into our RDS account, Windows Virtual Desktop Tenant using the ten creator usernames which we created in the last step. And it will give us the Azure window and I will select one of the accounts. So 
So the final step in creating the tenant is this command new dash RDS tenant dash name. Here you will specify the name of your tenant you want to create. Azure AD tenant ID, which is the directory tenant ID we copied in our first step, and then Azure subscription ID. So this would be my Azure subscription ID. And now our tenant would be created in Azure. So here my tenant name is showing an Azure ID tenant ID and subscription ID. Now we will create a Windows Virtual Desktop host pool with a virtual machine. So we will go back to our Azure portal, go back under resource groups and I will create a new resource group for that. So here is the resource group RG2WBD in which I will create my Windows Virtual Desktop host pool and uh, VMs. So we'll go and add and search for Windows Virtual Desktop Provision host pool and create it. Host pool name, I could say my host pool one so there are two kind of host pool pooled and personal i will create a pool one where user can be directed to the best available uh, windows virtual machine here we can specify a list of users which will be assigned to this host pool so let me add those values here and then uh, start the video i have put in a list of users here who will be assigned to this uh, host pool and now next step would be to configure the virtual machines so I will select no to availability set and select light. I will only keep one virtual machine and change the size to reduce the cost for the testing purposes. I will use B1 and we will specify a prefix. So every virtual machine which will get created will have this prefix and then it will add some random number. So I will select WBD anu dash. So we can have our own uh, image on the virtual machine where we create a virtual machine, install some applications, take a copy of it and put it in Azure and use them. But in this case, I will use a Windows 10 Enterprise multi-session one. Here we will specify the user ID which has right to join the machine to domain and user's password. We will specify a domain and domain to join in our case would be our managed domain in Azure dot co dot in leave the OU path blank we will have a new subnet in which we will put these machines we will use the same vnet which we created for our managed domain under that we will create a new subnet so this is the subnet where my uh, pass domain controllers in managed domain are there so I will create another subnet for my virtual machines So here I will select my VM subnet. Here we will specify the Windows Virtual Desktop tenant name which we specified earlier in the PowerShell command. Here you have to specify the ID of the user who is the Windows Virtual Desktop tenant RDS owner, the ID which, by which we registered these uh, enterprise applications in the first step. In a production environment, you can use a service principle instead of a username because any user account which you use here should not have MFA enabled. But in my case, I will use a user account. Now let us create it. I will pause the video and come back once it's get created. Now here are my resources which have been created like the virtual machine, network interface, disk, and already I had my Azure ADDS uh, domain, which was in a different resource group. So now for the next steps, we will go back to our PowerShell and we will perform the steps here. So I'm already logged into my tenant by add-rds account. So I do not have to log in again. Now we will run this command to get our app pool. So get RDS app group and this is our tenant name and this is our host pool. 
So here we choose my host full name, my app group name, the default application group. So earlier we added few users while creating the host pool, but later on also we can add a user. So let me show you how to add a user, a normal user. So let me create one in AD and come back here and show you how to do that. So I created a user account in my on-prem AD called test3 and synced it to Azure AD. And now we are adding it using this command, add RDS app group user, provided our tenant name, host pool name, app group name, and the user principal name. So now user has been added. Now this test three user can access my published uh, desktops. In order to publish any app, we will create another app group where we will publish some apps. So this is the command new RDS app group, and this would be our tenant name, host pool one, and app group. The resource type would be remote app. Now we will have to publish uh, some app in this uh, app group, app group one. Let us uh, find out an app which is already there on our Windows Virtual Desktop. So we can interrogate the start menu. So the command to do that is uh, get RDS start menu app, uh, tenant name, host pool, and the app group one, which we just created. And it will show us what all apps are there in the start menu and we will use one of them and uh, publish it. So let us publish snipping tool and we will require this app alias which is a snipping tool. So we will publish this snipping tool dot exe and run the command to publish it. So here is the command to publish it. A new RDS remote app, our tenant name, host pool, app group. The name we will specify it snippet and the app alias which we copied. So our app has been published. Now let us assign our test user to this uh, app group the test 3 user which we earlier created so here is the command to add the user to the app group one so we are getting an error that the specified user principal name is already assigned to a desktop app group in the specified host pool so currently we cannot have a user assigned to desktop app group and an application app group in the same host pool so in order to do that, we need to have a separate host pool for apps and assign the user there. But in our case, what we will do, we will remove the test3 user from the desktop uh, app group and assign it to this uh, application app group now. Here is the command remote RDS app group user, uh, tenant name, host pool, and this is our desktop app group where we have our desktop published. So we will run this and remove the user from the desktop app group and then run the add RDS uh, group user command again to add it to the app group one. And that should work. So now the test three user will have app group one published where we publish the snippet tool. Now our configuration is done and now let's uh, go to Windows uh, virtual desktop. So there is an app for that uh, client which you can download. So go to Windows virtual desktop client And you can download the client from here. I have already done that. So let me open it on my machine and log in with the user ID and see what happens. Let us open remote desktop on our machine and uh, log in with our test three account, which has a snippet assigned to it. So it should be able to see a snippet and open that. So it is looking for the resources associated for our user and here I see the snipping tool and if I double click on that it should initiate a remote connection and uh, open the snippet app on our machine. It's asking for the password again. So here I have the snippet tool now. So now this is working and let's check the remote desktop. So I will log in with my global administrator account which has a remote desktop published. So I see host pool one and now when I double click on it, it should connect me to the remote desktop, Windows 10, and to the password here. So 
so it is connecting me to the desktop so here I have my Windows virtual desktop and also let me show you another thing here I have a Windows 2016 computer uh, which I joined to ADDS my managed domain and installed the RSAT tool on it and if I go to AD users and computer on it I will see my virtual machine my Windows virtual desktop here which is this one and this VM10 is this uh, server which I joined to ADDS domain so this was a small demo on how to set up our Windows virtual desktop publish desktops and apps and how to get started with it there are many things to it like you will have profiles which is through FS logic and we can touch those topics in our later videos so this was my part one of uh, Windows virtual desktop and I will see you in my next video please uh, like and subscribe to my channel bye bye